that's it. That's the line, isn't it? That's the line. I still want to call you dad, like he still loves him. That makes me emotional thinking about it. He still loves him. All right then everyone, um, a couple of weeks ago, I did a reaction to Hua Hua um, Fake Monk, which I loved, I found it mesmerizing. And so I wanted to do another song of his in the comments of that uh, video that I left. Someone said, you should look at Dad, I'm Home by Hua Hua. And so that's what I'm gonna go for today. Um, I hope you like what I go for. Tangrotongchana 那时候我的年纪还太小如果真的我有一双翅膀可以随时出发的话我一定会偷偷地带着我妈离开这个家 其实别人的家庭,别人的爸爸,种种的暴力因素,一定都会有原因的。但是呢,妈跟我都没有错,却还是离不开暴力。亏我还叫你一声爸。Man, he's acting this so well, isn't he? I don't think he wrote this, and yet he could have. Like, it feels so personal and so real, doesn't it? I think what I'm sensing from the song at least is almost like this sense of um, betrayal you know this sense of being being let down by someone who obviously means a whole lot to um, to whoever wrote this song it does feel sad doesn't it because you know, obviously what's happened is, is the dad has gone away to war, has been really severely impacted by it, has come back and his head is in an absolute pickle. And he doesn't know how to deal with that. And so the way he's dealt with it is by... by being aggressive and violent. And don't get me wrong, I'm not justifying 
aggression and violence, especially in relationships. Um, but it is sad to think that that aggression and violence probably wouldn't have happened if you wouldn't have had those atrocious experiences and they just go to show that behavior doesn't happen in a vacuum. It's, it's impacted by um, the things that have happened in our lives. But I think the sense of loss, that's the word. The loss of the father-son relationship, the loss of his father, is what makes this so sad. The fact that his father obviously means an awful lot to him um, is sort of the hardest part of this to um, to watch because it's essentially watching someone describe and act and illustrate their loss. Mama Chang You know what, what I'm finding mad about this is, so this is obviously being done in some sort of competition or something. Now what happens in these competitions is people use these opportunities to show off how great they are, how great their vocal range is and, and whatnot. And he's basically talking his way through the song, but it's so effective because of the words and the way that he's acting out the words that it's mesmerizing. You can see like when it cuts to, I assume, other competitors or judges, those other people, they're sort of like caught up in the emotion of it all. And this is in the absence of any great sort of like vocal range or, or delivery or anything. It, it, it's, it's similar to the fake monk performance, you know, he's so into it and that wraps the viewer into it. And in this case, he's managing to wrap the viewer into the story of this and the loss of it and the feel of it in the absence of doing a whole lot with his voice or even on the piano. It's incredible, really. He's also absolutely helpless, isn't he? He sees what's going on and it's ripping his soul apart and there's nothing he can do about it. So there's like this plead in here, like, please don't hurt my mom like that. He, he can't do anything about it because he's obviously just a little boy seeing things that little boys shouldn't have to see. And this will stay with him now forever, right? As in like witnessing domestic violence is hard. And it's, it's like it leaves a scar on you and we carry our scars with us forever and it influences our behavior in various ways as we go through our lives. Like what, does the, what do these experiences mean for this little boy as he grows up for the things that he makes his life about for his relationships and stuff? There's a wail in there, isn't it? That sound that he just made, I think it sort of like maps on to what this song is about really well. In the absence of words, I could have looked at that and thought this person is in pain over something just by the wailing sound that just came out of him. Oh, uh -huh. 
这样的我妈妈，我还想叫一声。That's it. That's the line, isn't it? That's the line. I still want to call you dad. Like he still loves him. That makes me emotional thinking about it. He still loves him. He still wants him. You know, this isn't a hateful song. He's not. This isn't a hateful song. This is trying to make sense of it. Song and a longing song in the context of of loss. He just wants a relationship with his father. I hope that his father manages to make it up. Manages to figure some way through his own stuff so that he can he can be there for this、uh, this young boy and help to use his experiences to educate him about what life is and how it's hard sometimes and how people respond to that in different ways and and how there are better and worse ways to respond to it because this son would learn an awful lot and would also. Perhaps have a bit more compassion, compassion, and empathy for、um, for his dad, and understanding. You know. How mad is that? He waited at the end, almost like to recompose himself because he was so wrapped up into the song emotionally. It's amazing to see that. It's amazing to see someone really sort of like live the words that they're singing, not throw away, but live the words they're singing. That was a story that he just told—a story of loss and sort of、um, anger and frustration and a longing. For good relationships with、uh, with his parents, a longing for his dad to be fixed, following seeing probably some awful things that have stayed with him for a long time. It's so funny how we so quickly put labels on people without really fully appreciating the context from which those people emerged. We do it with alcohol all the time, right? People. Will drink, and then we just think, "Oh, that there's an alcoholic over there," and we don't see that their alcoholism came from a place. It came from a place of suffering and from a place of challenge and pain. And this is just people trying to deal with it in the way that they think best in that moment, and the way that they try to puts them in a bigger hole. And I think those people they need our compassion as much as anything else, rather than our judgment. Yeah, another another mesmerising performance by this、uh, by this young man Hua Hua.、Um, I'm gonna be reacting to more of his stuff, I think, and I hope that you will join me for that. All right, take care. Thanks for pointing me in this direction, and、uh, see you next time. Bye bye.